Hello everyone, my name is Sky, and welcome back to Pokemon White version. In the last episode, we took on Nacreen City's gym leader, Lenora, and we won ourselves a basic badge. Also, uh, Team Plasma took off with a rare dragon skull from inside the museum. So we're off to go stop them and retrieve the skull. Um... In the last episode as well, let me go ahead and get this out. Uh, Bianca gave us a dowsing machine, which we're going to try out here. So the dowsing machine actually has, like, actual rods, like a dowsing rod. All right, so that means that we're on top of it. So we have to check here. It's an Ultra Ball. There we go. It's pretty good. I actually kind of like that dowsing machine. It's actually pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we're heading off to the the west. To route... Not a route. Pinweedle Forest. Who's out in front? Blitzel is out in front. Just where I want Blitzel. Oh. Uh, oh, hey! TM94 Rock Smash. Move that sometimes reduces your foe's defense stat. Uh, that'll be good to put on Patrat. Uh, this leads to Pinwheel Forest. If they manage to scuttle off into the forest, we might have trouble. Well, they probably did. I, I did take a day. If you go straight, it doesn't take long, but if you go the wrong way, it's a maze. Is, a, is Pinwheel Forest a path or a maze for? But you. But, but. Alright, so this is a unique trainer here. This is a nurse. And if we battle her, something cool happens. So now, for beating her, she will make our Pokemon healthy. And that means that she'll heal them. So there are some trainers out in the wild, I guess you could call it, uh, that will heal your Pokemon. So you don't have to worry about going halfway through a dungeon and then having to go all the way back and heal. Which is really nice. There's an ether that will restore the power points of a move. Uh, and down here is actually some new patches of grass where we can catch some new Pokemon. So let's get into some of the Pokemon that you can catch here. First off, hey, we got Timber. Timber. Timber is a fighting type Pokemon and probably the first fighting type Pokemon you'll ever be able to encounter. Um, its stats are what you would expect for a fighting type. Uh, low speed, low defense, low special attack. Um, it is very physically bulky. It's got a lot of health, it's got quite a good amount of defense, and it's got a ton of attack. Timber is not bad at all. You will, however, need to trade Timber to uh, get its full evolution. Oh yeah, this will really hurt, because I don't think I'm going to get it in time. Which seems really strange, because it should be at half speed, um, unless I'm being dumb and it has guts. Except... It would still be under the effects of speed, so I'm gonna try a quick attack. And there we go, Timber's down. Okay, Timber actually could have really messed me up there. But yeah, uh, the Timber family's not bad. It's about on par with the Machamp family. So, safe bet on that part. Alright, um, so there's a couple Pokemon here. I'm probably at. Oh! Maybe I'll get lucky. So the other Pokemon that you can find on this route... Temple is one of them. Temple evolves into Seismitoad at level 36 and becomes a Water Ground type. Um, water Ground is a very good type. It's weak to one type and that's Grass. It's quad weak to Grass, but that's it. 
It's immune to electricity, which is really good, being that it's half water. Overall, I don't know if I like Temple. I think its typing is really good, and that alone has some merit to it, but it's a really strange Pokemon. It's got a, quite a bit of HP. It has decent special attack and physical attack, and then kind of mediocre stats everywhere else. It was buffed in later generations by 10 stat points, which a lot of Pokemon actually got this. But I don't, I don't know. There's, I feel like you could go better. There are better water types in this game. Um, we have one of them as, a, as our teammate, so there's that. Uh, the other Pokemon that you can find in Rustling Grass, actually no, not in Rustling Grass, excuse me. In a very low percentage chance in grass, uh, you can find Throw. Throw is also a very interesting Pokemon. It's another fighting type. Um, lots of HP, good amount of attack, and it's pretty bulky defenses. It's it's a it's supposed to be somewhat of a defensive one. Ooh, we're learning Flame Charge. That's a really good move. Uh, Flame Charge is a fire type move that's 50 power. It raises your speed stat every time you use it, so I'm going to swap out Tail Whip. But Throw is a very defensive one, as opposed to its brother, which we'll get into in a moment here. Um, I, I would prefer the other Pokemon that I'm about to talk about. It's very, it's not very fast. Throw is not very fast whatsoever. Um, so I, like I said, I would suggest using its brother over Throw. So, uh, its brother, since I've been mentioning it quite a bit here, is Sock. So yeah, Sock and, and Throw, because, because, yeah. Sock is not nearly as defensive, um, but his attack stat is amazing. His speed isn't the greatest, but it's definitely faster than throw, which means it's most likely going to go faster than things that you would throw it out against. Um. Oh, jeez. Here we go. But yeah, uh, I actually really like Sock. Um, I was very tempted to attempt to get this, but the problem with Sock in this particular game is it can only be found legitimately in this game at least I think so. It can only be found on this route in rustling in rustling grass with a five percent chance. The other five per the other uh uh it's five percent or ten percent. <laughs> I try and try and remember my best. Um I think it's actually it's 5%, yeah, 5% each, um, with a 5% chance, oh jeez, this is weird, oh dang it, with a 5% chance on each one, sock and throw can be found in shaking grass or swirling dust, uh, in respective versions, like say you're playing white version, throw can be found in thick grass and regular grass at a 10% chance. If you're playing black version, it's the opposite. Sock can be found at a 10% chance in thick grass and regular grass. In white version, sock can only be found in shaking grass um, at a 5% chance. So it's really tough to find this Pokemon unless you have someone you can trade with. Speaking of... Wow! That's a really low percent chance. I mean, even 10% chance is not very high. So that's kind of cool to see a throw. Um, overall, they're, they're decent. Um, they're not... Bad Pokemon, especially Sock. Sock, I think, is just clearly the better Pokemon. 
I would go with that if you can get it. Um, but they're good Pokemon. I mean, go for it. They're cool. Oh, man! Dire music. Well, you see, there are two ways out of Pinwheel Forest. The road that goes straight and the path that winds through the woods. I will take the straight road after them. If they're not there, I'll block the exit. Would you please take the other way and check whether Team Plasma is hiding in there somewhere? You'll run into a lot of trainers, but it's basically a single path, so I'm sure you won't get lost. Come on, let's do this for Lenora's sake! And he's gone. Well, alright, let's go. Uh, how many my Pokemon look like right now? Switch out to Mizune over here, because we want these two Pokemon to get some experience. So, um, we're going to talk about some of the new Pokemon you can find here, too, while we're fighting these guys. So the first Pokemon you can find is Petalil. Petalil I mentioned earlier. Petalil was the Pokemon that you could trade to get a Katana. Petalil will evolve into Lilligant if you use a Sunstone. Now, Lilligant I have used before personally, and I really like Lilligant. It's a very, uh, it's a very fast, well, fast for a grass type anyway. It's a very fast special attacking grass type, which I thoroughly enjoy. Um, it still has the ability to do some status affecting moves like any other grass type, but you're gonna find that it's learning pedal dance relatively early, which, well, for how powerful that move is. At level 45, I think it is. Uh, and Petal Dance is just really powerful for grass types. Um, so, um, I would say definitely check out Petalil and Lilligan if you want to get a grass type and you don't have, say, um, Snivy. Because it's they're, they're fantastic. I love them a lot. The next Pokemon we can find is what we just fought, a Swaddle. Swaddle evolves into Swadloon at level 20, which will evolve into Levani when you level it up with High Friendship. Levani is sort of the opposite of Lilligant. You stubborn brat, when I'm through with you, you won't be able to chase us anymore. Another battle with Team Plasma. But Levani is basically a physical version of Lilligant with some slightly different stats. Um, it's not, it's physical stat isn't as high, but it's defense is slightly higher. So, Levani's actually also really good. It's, it's surprising how good some of these Pokemon are that are just hanging out. Um, it being a bug type, you don't really think a bug type is amazing, especially a grass bug type. The only problem I do see with Levani is its typing, whereas Lilligant is a pure grass type, which is a very good type. Lilligant, is, or uh, Levani is a bug grass, which means quad weakness to flying and quad weakness to fire, and that's very damaging. But if you can somehow get around that, Levani is a pretty dang good Pokemon, and it sews clothes with its web makes you leaf clothes. It's, it's adorable. And the last Pokemon we can find is something that's not quite as adorable. It's Venipede. Venipede evolves into Whirlipede at level 22 and Skullipede at level 30. Bug poison type is pretty common. And Skullipede actually isn't all that bad. It's got pretty high speed for a bug type. I mean, you know, Scyther withholding. Um, and it's got decent attack and defense. I mean, I can't say that it's, you know, it's not that bad. Um, if you want a bug type or a poison type, it's, I say it's pretty good. Now, I'm not going into too much about its moveset or anything that it could learn, really, but stat-wise, it looks pretty decent. And you don't really have to worry about, uh, investing TMs into it because TMs are unlimited use in this game. So the TM issue is a non-issue nowadays. So yeah, those are all the Pokemon we can catch. 
And in the time that it took for me to do that, uh, we have defeated two Team Plasma members. Um, now, I didn't buy any repels. I probably should have. Yeah, I probably should have bought some repels. Just to make it easier so I don't have to cut out! Alright. So, Blitzel actually fainted. But I went and healed with that, uh, nurse. So, and Mizune grew to level 19, which is sweet. Now, a big root. Big, big root. Um, I'm gonna guess there's an item down there. A big root. No, you son of a... A big root. Oh my god, there's nothing down here. Well, dang, I've been had. Um, oh my god. Never gonna get an explanation about a big root out. A big root will increase, uh, healing moves from grass-type moves, I believe. Stop looking at me. Screw it. There's an item here, a super potion. And we're gonna run through here. I'm about- to, oh! Uh, I got out! Oh my god. I actually escaped. This guy we're probably not gonna be able to avoid. You son of a... My Pokemon strong points! You'll see them if you fight! Bye. So, this guy made a pun. He was talking about his Pokemon strong points. His first Pokemon had a poison point as its ability, which honestly I should take care of right now, while I remember it. And then his second Pokemon was a Timber. Cause it, it, it's, it's strong, guys. It's strong. The first one had points, and the other one is just physically strong. It's too strong. Oh my god! You know, thank god Blitzel has really high speed. Alright, so this is an unavoidable battle up here, so... With a Pokémon Ranger, I believe. Cool! This is a new trainer type we've never seen. Uh, they typically utilize berries, I believe. We're sending out a Pan Sage, which reminds me, you can actually catch Pan Sage, Pan Seer, and Pan Poor in this forest. So if you wanted one that you couldn't get before, you can get them now. Uh, you guys have already heard my piece on each of them. They're, you know, whatever. <laughs> they're, they're really, they're just really average. I don't think they're bad, they're just really, really average. I wish they were better, because they're a really cool concept. It's another elemental trio that's not the starters. Or a legendary trio. And he's... and he's gone! Good job. Blitzel's really coming into his own now that he has Flame Charge. And they give us a Chesto Berry to give me back the one that I lost from that Swaddle that ate it. Use Bug Bite on me and it ate it. How, how mean. Alright, so we can head up here. And face another Ranger, which I don't know if this is required. I don't think it is. So I'm gonna skip it. She gives us a Petra Berry. Well, that's nice. Uh, I need to heal up my dude. Because you hurt him a little bit there. You did. I'm gonna give you a fresh water. You like some fresh water? Aw, oh, he loves it. He loves it. He's basically a horse. It's fine. Mother of glory. Alright. We got it! Uh, I don't know what I just did. I can't be dealing with this. Can't be dealing with this. Got a tiny mushroom. A tiny mushroom. Get up the uh, wooden log here, the hollowed out log. So you made it this far. I'll hold you here so my friends can get away. Alright, Team Plasma. All right. Up a trap. 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 Up a tr
Frat in the distance. He's gonna die. We're gonna thunder wave him. And then we're gonna have Blitzel take good care of him. There's a crunch. That's all. No, 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 that bad. I'll try Shockwave. Oh, it's using Bide. Okay, well, we'll, we'll get it before it can let out Bide. And it got paralyzed, so it didn't even matter. So I believe that cancels out Bide. So Bide doesn't work anymore. Well, good job, Blitzel. Yep, I'm here to buy time, and if you don't step lively, we're gonna get away. Well, I'm running, so it's fine. Let's get this. Paralyze heal. So I don't think it matters what I do. I'm gonna run into a dude. Yes, I am. I'm just gonna skip this. Because again, I mean, I don't think... He's gonna have another elemental monkey. And with that, Blitzel grew to level 20. That actually makes Mizune my weakest Pokemon, which is really strange. He's actually not my weakest Pokemon. I'm pretty sure nothing is stronger than Mizune's Razor Shell right now, except maybe Herdier's Takedown. But, you know. You know. We're gonna head up here. I'm gonna get into a bunch of random encounters. What it wants from me. I'm gonna get into another one. We got TM86 Grass Knot. This is a, an interesting grass type move. Does more damage the heavier a Pokemon weighs. It's a very situational move, but you know, sometimes it can come in handy. Very effective against rock types, which usually weigh a lot. All right, we're out of there, jeez. Oh man! Are you the one that has the skull? Skull face. A pursuer. <laughs> a kid like you beat some of us? That can't be helped, but I'll take you on now. The final plasma. Final plasma. Last grunt. He's sending out a patrap. You can tell this is the last line of defense because they only they have three Pokemon. Unlike their counterparts that have one. Alright, well, Razor Shell. Pretty much destroy him. Good job, Mizune. Another Patrat? Nah, I think we're good. Mizune's gonna take, make quick work of this guy, especially with his level 14 Patrat. Come on now. Razor Shell again, you're gone. Goodbye. Rest in pieces. A Sandile? Even better. Sandile we cannot catch yet, so I'm not gonna go into it, but Sandile is a, is a ground and dark type. Very interesting type. But ground is weak to water. How unfortunate. And Mizune leveled to 20. Good job. And he's gonna learn Fury Cutter. That's not a good move, unfortunately. Fury Cutter, as you can see, base 20 power, accuracy 95. It increases as you continue to use it. I don't think the increase is significant. Maybe it's double every time. It still means that you have to use a base 20 power bug type move to start. To be able for it to start doing that. Um, I don't like it. I'm not going to use it. I think there's better moves. And that's that. We did it. Fine, take your stupid skull. And we got the skull. So the dream our king had, the dream we had, won't come true. How are you holding up, fellow subject of our king? Gorm of the Seven Sages, I'm mortified that this skull, which we went to so much trouble to obtain, was stolen from us so easily. It's not important. We can afford to abandon the dragon skull. According to the result of our research, that is not the legendary Pokémon for which Team Plasma is looking. It is completely unrelated. But we will not allow anyone to disrupt our plans and get away with it. We will fix it so you never interfere with us again. Oh, sweet. The bug Pokemon were getting all worked up, so here I come. And what do I spy with my little eye? This important-looking guy. Are you here to help your friends whom I defeated? 
Sarah Berg. The others didn't have anything. Who are you supposed to be? Is this guy the big boss? Boss. Boss. I am one of the seven sages of Team Plasma. Getsis, another of the seven sages, will liberate Pokemon with words alone. The remainder of the seven sages have ordered their compatriots to take Pokemon with full force. But the odds are a little against us now. To you, the bug Pokemon user Berg and the normal Pokemon user Lenora, I say. Know your enemies, know yourself, and you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. This time we shall retreat quietly. To secure the liberation of Pokemon, we will steal Pokemon from trainers. Even though you are gym leaders, we will not tolerate any further obstruction from you. In any case, we will settle this someday. I hope you are looking forward to that time as much as I. There, speedy bunch. What are you planning to do, Berg? Are you going to chase them? Hmm. Well, we got back the stolen skull. And if we corner them, there's no telling what they might do. I think I'll be heading back, Lenora. Well now, well. I'll be waiting for your challenge at the Castelia City's Pokemon Gym. Yes, indeed. I'm certainly looking forward to it. Sarah, you're holding the Dragon Skull you worked so hard to get back, right? There you go. Sarah, thank you so much. With a kind trainer like you taking care of them, the Pokemon with you must be happy. Here's a token of my gratitude. Gratitude. Please use it carefully. A Moonstone! This is a Moonstone. Some Pokemon evolve when you use this item on them. Now I must take the Dragon Skull back to the museum. See ya. Take care of yourself. What a nice lady. Well, we did it. We explored Pinwheel Forest and we thwarted Team Plasma's plans once again. We got the Dragon Skull back. And we got a Miracle Seed, which will increase the power of Grass-type moves, similar to the Mystic Water. So next time on Pokemon White, we'll be heading out of the Pinwheel Forest towards Castelia City. Until then, later trainers.